What's up, I'm going to some beautiful, beautiful gamers so welcome back to role playing games. This is Mario Kart 98. And if you like this, because about RPGs, like the console, like the video, super appreciated. No, I told you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You're only a gorgeous and beautiful person. <laughs> in today's video, we're going to be speaking about armor sets, how to get the best armor sets in the game, and how to farm those armor sets in the game. Basics of it all. You can get armor sets by summoning people and have that people accompany you through missions. Very important to note that it is not necessary for you to complete a level or kill bosses. The fastest way to complete all of these sworn levels for all of these guys that you have right here is going to be just basically by killing enemies. And by killing enemies you will receive after that here on deliveries the armors. So for example, as you can see right here, uh, Sunset is going to reward you with the Young Conqueror bandana, Young Conqueror armor set, which is the armor set that I have right now. Now, how do I know what am I going to get, uh, when am I going to get, and what is in my best interest to have? Basically, you have the build of the character that is going to accompany you. Remember, just take them into missions, and then after you level them to level 10, so for example, this guy I have at level 7, this guy I have at level uh, 5, and these guys, when they are sworn brothers, then that means that that character is already your uh, level 10 character, and it, he has already rewarded you with the armor set. Now, very interesting to know, but up here, at the right side, you will see the kind of build that this character has. And for example, Cao Cao, it's going to be a metal build, it seems. It also has the uh, Heaven's Reliance. That is the weapon that they are going to reward you. And most of the times, well, not, not most of the times, <laughs> they are always going to reward you with the type of weapon that they carry. Do have in mind, if you haven't watched my BLS video, that every type of weapon, category, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything else. They are going to have a kind of scaling, right? And based on the scaling, that is what interests you the most to actually get that weapon. So for example, this guy. My build relies on being a fire and wood build. That is... Uh, what I'm building right now for my character, but basically for fire. And I know that this guy uses dual halberds. And dual halberds, let me see if I have a couple of them in here. Yes, dual halberds, as you can see in here, they usually scale good with fire. So if they scale good with fire, then I immediately know that when I get this bad voice, I'm going to get something that scales good with fire. That is how I want to know what am I going to get from those wheels? That is how you make your choice. But even more than that, if that is not enough to you, there's also a very old trusty <laughs> extra. I do believe that all the people that play RPGs, we all know our, ba uh, our boy Fextra, Fextra Life. So, for example, if you're still doubting uh, that uh, you're going to get, for example, let me see, Cao Cao armor set, which is the unscrupulous hero armor. That is going to be the armor set that I am going to be rewarded by him. So this is the very first thing that you want to look your eye out for. These guys, they are always going to have their armors right here on the right side. So, for example, if I still haven't decided that I want to take the Cao Cao armor set, which is the unscrupulous hero armor set, all I really have to do is head over to the website, the link is in the video description, and then I'm going to go all the way to the heavy armor sets, because that's where the unscrupulous armor set is going to be. So, let me look for it, here we go, unscrupulous armor set. And very old Fextra has this thing right here so that we don't actually have to worry ourselves about anything else. This is going to give us, uh, it's going to tell us if it's going to be a heavy armor set, medium armor set, light armor set. It's going to have the weight right there and it's also going to give us the set bonuses. So for example, 
I do not like this one that much because it doesn't increase my sword damage that much. Now, uh, for example, this guy on the other hand, which is uh, the magnificent beer set, is going to give me glaive damage. So if I wanted to make a glaive build, I would most definitely be getting this guy. And as you can see, I do believe that there are still some armor sets that are missing right here, but at the end of the day, they should be adding before long. Now, one thing to have in mind. When do I actually want to use armor sets, and when do I do not want to use armor sets? Let's go back here. Because it is not... A, the best idea to, to use a complete armor set at all times. The thing is that, for example, an armor set is going to give you four special effects. Four special effects plus usually it's going to be four extra armor sets. The extra armor sets you are going to be compelled to actually use those special skills for the armor sets because you're not going to be able to change it. Whereas, if you get a different piece of armor, that has, that has something little different. So for example, level 4, again, 4 special effects. Level 4 basic armor sets, it's going to have 5 special effects. Meaning that if you have uh, 4 separate armors, and if you include the weapons as well, let me see if I have uh, level 4 weapons around here somewhere where you will be able to see. That as you can see right here, no, that is a set as well. Anyways, unimportant, these guys are going to have three special uh, effects skills, whereas, as you can see, there is a locked one right here. That is basically going to be opened only for Star Force weapons that is, going, that is not going to be part, part of an armor set. So that being said, Yes, it is a nice idea to actually tailor your armor set a little bit better, but usually you want to go to Fextra Life because then again, this armor set is going to have dual hundreds damage, which is my main uh, weapon of choice, and I do believe that is a skill that you cannot get outside from an armor set. So yeah, basically that's everything that you need to know about armor sets, how to get the armor sets that uh, you're going to form. Oh, and before I forget, there's also this special missions right here. If you do not want to level up completely one companion, you can go to travel and they are not going to tell you exactly how it's going to be. But uh, for example, here it says Liu Bei is a man who enjoys the company of other brave warriors. Flashing a tenacious smile, he requests a smile, a small show of strength, which basically he's requesting a duel with you. And if you, and if you defeat him, he's going to give you parts of the weapon and armor set. The main difference is that it's going to be based on luck. So you could get level 2 stars, level 3 stars, so on and so forth. Whereas if you farm the sworn mm, thing, you're always going to get the full complete level four, 4 stars armor sets, as you can see right here. Anyways, if you find the video uh, useful, if you like the information, if you like the content, like the video, super appreciate it, no one has told you that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person. A beautiful day, and I'll be seeing you, got them gorgeous and beautiful people, in the next one. Goodbye.